Hey y'all, welcome to today's video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing the 2024 election prediction. Um, between Kamala Harris and Ron DeSantis, I'm going to be labeling all of the safe and likely states, and try to make this pretty quick. Um, going through labeling Harris as safe states, Massachusetts, Vermont, oh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, both likely, New York, Maine's first, Illinois, I think that, oh, Virginia, that might be it for DeSantis. It's like they say, it's Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska is at large. First is likely. Third is safe. Kansas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. Indiana could be safe. Indiana's kind of hard to tell. Um, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Alaska. So that's actually a lot of the states, most of the states remaining are of the more competitive states. Um, in New Mexico, I think that um, RDS does worse with white rural voters. Harris is weak enough, though, I think with oil workers, to the point where RDS being a strong enough candidate can do pretty well. Um, and then, I think that Harris is meh for the Hispanic and Latino vote. Um, Virginia, I think Harris is one of the black vote is one of the D.C. suburbs. Um, Connecticut and Rhode Island, I think that Harris is not a necessarily strong candidate for white rural culture educated voters. I think that RDS is one of the stronger candidates for white rural culture educated voters for the GOP. Um, I think he would pr I think it's realistic that he would probably, um, does well enough in Connecticut and Rhode Island that they're both likely. Um, oh, Nebraska's second is kind of on, like, the line between being lean and likely for Harris. I'm gonna give it to Harris likely, could be lean. I think that she does well enough. Um, with white liberal voters, um, in cities, although I think RDS probably does pretty well, and I think he also does pretty well in the suburbs. He but he probably does do worse with white rural voters, and I think the suburbs probably shift regardless. Kansas he does worse with white rural voters and the suburbs shift away from him. Missouri, he can still have some white rural turnout. Harris is one off in St. Louis and Kansas City. Iowa, um, RDS just one off of the bomb. It's Trump voters. There's not necessarily in my mind like a huge demographic in Iowa for the Democratic Party that's like their base. It's like a huge part of the like I it's I don't I don't think that it's quite like how there's like a legitimate base for them in like even in swing states like in like Nevada or in like Georgia. Um it's a lot of it is white rural voters, and a lot of these voters, and I don't, I don't remember what congressional district is, sort of northeastern quarter, um, that I that heavily favored Obama, actually, and then a lot of them flipped to Trump, a lot of those Obamas to Trump voters. Um, and, I mean, it's kind of weird. I don't know fully why, but there's, like, some stretch that's, like, that or something that's like really that was uh, has been really blue or something like that which is kind of weird um but regardless um i don't i don't know that there's necessarily a whole lot of a base for harris to turn out there um it's it's really not much of a turnout state like i've i discussed this with like like georgia a lot of it is based off of turning out voters arizona a lot of it is swing voters the rest of it, a lot of it is kind of both iowa is very much um a lot of the path to victory is through swing voters. I think RDS is much stronger for Obama to Trump voters than Harris is. Indiana, I think this is on the line between being lean and likely. Um, I think that Harris probably does well enough with black voters um, and well enough with um, liberal white liberal voters in cities, whereas RDS gets less white rural turnout. I don't necessarily know if Harris, like, because I, I think that the black share of the electorate in Indiana might be too small, and RDS we do, I think, pretty well with white rural, or with white liberal voters in cities, or at least better than, like, Trump would, um, so I think it could be likely, could be safe, it's kind of sort of on the line, um, Ohio, um, I think that Harris is meh with black, obviously well with black voters, but, um, the black share of the electorate's gonna decrease probably in Ohio, RDS gets less white rural turnout, but does well enough, and he probably does better with the right working classes. The difference between him and Harris is probably di bigger than the difference between Biden and Trump, although I could see it being relatively similar. South Carolina, um, I think that Harris does pretty well with the black vote. RDS probably gets less white rural turnout. 
Mississippi, Harris is pretty well to black, so RDS gets less white rules for now. Alaska, I think it'll probably continue to shift to the left. I think I'll probably see more and more Native American voters coming out and shifting it to the left. I don't know necessarily if Harris is the strongest candidate for Native American voters. I don't know if she's necessarily the weakest. Um, I think that she probably struggles with oil workers, though. Um, for Harris's lean states, Nevada, Minnesota, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Maine at large, and Georgia, whereas RDS gets Texas, and Florida, oh, and by the way, he gets Maine second, I think he has enough of the populist appeal. Um, in Nevada, for Harris, I think that she is well enough for the Hispanic and Latino voters, and I think RDS probably gets less white rural turnout. Minnesota, I think that RDS is pretty well, um, with white liberal voters in cities. I think Harris is pretty well in the suburbs, though, and RDS gets less white rural turnout, though he probably was, he probably was better with the white working class, and there might be less turnout. Um, so it's, it's probably going to be on the line, but I don't think that Harris is necessarily, I think that RDS is strong enough with white liberal voters in cities against, um, Harris that he can make it lean. Um, in Michigan, I think Harris is pretty well with the black vote. He's pretty well in the, pretty well in the suburbs. Yes, RDS is pretty well with the white right working class. Um, he also gets less white rural turnout. Fairly similar thing in Pennsylvania. Um, Georgia, I think Harris is well enough with the black vote. RDS gets, I think that Harris is well enough with the black vote. RDS gets less white rural vote, or white rural turnout. Um, means second, or, so sort of maybe less white rural vote, if you think about it. It's weird, but less white rural turnout. I mean, at large, this is online, too, being, like, lean and likely. I think that Harris is not very strong for white rural college educated voters. I think RDS is one of the stronger GOP candidates that would actually realistically get the nomination for white rural college educated voters. Fairly similar thing in New Hampshire. Um, for RDS, is lean states, Texas, I think he does worse with white rural voters than Trump does. Harris shifts the suburbs enough. I could see him doing pretty well as the Hispanic Latino vote, though. Um, but I think Trump already did pretty well. Um, but so either way, it's probably going to be lean unless RDS is like, I I don't I think given what we talked about RDS to carry it lean like just through improvement to the Hispanic Latino vote, it would probably result in or for him to carry it likely he would probably end up carrying, he probably be losing the Hispanic Latino vote by like ten or double digits ish, uh, which I think is fairly unrealistic. But I I think it could happen. But I think it's unrealistic. Florida, I think that RDS is well enough with older white voters in suburban. I think it's well enough for the Hispanic Latino vote. Um, for the tilt states, Harris gets Wisconsin. RDS gets Arizona and North Carolina. Arizona, I think that he does pretty well in the traditionally conservative suburbs. I think Harris is pretty weak in the traditionally conservative suburbs. Um, I think that she does, um, decent with the Hispanic Latino vote, but I think regardless, RDS still probably carries a tilt, um, although I could see it being a toss-up or narrowly favoring Harris with RDS getting less white rural turnout. I don't know if that would really affect it much, and I don't know that, nece- I don't know necessarily that RDS would get, like, I don't know that his white rural, rural turnout would decrease enough to the point where it seriously, like, alters the results, um, maybe, I think it definitely could, but for now I'm gonna give it to him till, um, Wisconsin, I think Harris does, it's a very similar thing for Michigan and Pennsylvania, Harris is better with the black vote, it shifts the suburbs enough to the left, RDS is worse with white rural voters, he does pretty well with the white working class, um, so I'm gonna give it to him, I'm gonna give it to Harris still, but I could see it being lean. North Carolina, I think that RDS is le- worse with white rural voters. I think Harris is well enough with the black vote. Um, I don't know if RDS struggles enough with white rural voters. And um, we already see, like, I think the black share of the electorate in North Carolina in 2020 was, like, very similar to the black share of the population. Whereas in Georgia, I think it was actually less than the black share of the population. Um, so... It, it might be more difficult for Democrats. I think they're a lot of their best bet would rather to be tried to get um, the black share of the electorate to overrepresent um, the black share of the population or to um, or to just hope that um, the black share of the population continues to increase and that the black share of the electorate increases at a steady rate as well. Um, 
or just that the GOP run a candidate who's really, really weak for white rural voters. I think RDS is weaker than Trump for white rural voters, but I still think he's pretty strong, and I think Harris probably loses North Carolina versus Trump. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please comment your suggestions down below, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!